Welcome to the longest running, the original, and the only trilingual Filipino Chinese lifestyle magazine show, Chinatown TV. I'm your host for today, Trish Chua. Given his humble but truly inspiring background and experience, Professor Celso Kainglet is recognized by the awards for the promotion of Philippine China understanding, also known as the APPCU, for his vocal expression and potent stance in promoting better ties, understanding, friendship, and cooperation with China as a neighbor in Asia, particularly on issues involving the West Philippine Sea and the eastern parts of South China Sea. Para sa kanya, there are valuable lessons to be learned from the experiences of Taiwan and Vietnam, especially where international diplomacy is essential. Accordingly, while there may be disputes on territorial claims as a nation, Filipinos must not be stuck with this discourse, as there are other aspects that require immediate attention, such as enabling the economy to thrive for the good and benefit of the majority. Let's all watch this. Ching Shou Kan. A vocal academician and public intellectual, Professor Celso Elka Inglet has been very straightforward with his positions in social political discourses. With background in philosophy and a master's degree in applied ethics obtained with honors at the Catholic University of Louvain in Belgium, Professor Ka Inglet deserves every right to the title of a communication expert and strategic analyst. First of all, uh, congratulations for being recognized uh, by the awards for the promotion of Filipino China understanding. Sir, uh, your thoughts, please. Well, uh, thank you very much for that uh, recognition. I, I, I remember uh, when I started going public on the Philippine-China relations. Uh, that was still uh, during the, ta the presidency of uh, Noynoy Aquino. And we were like voices in the wilderness. So you have always been vocal no, in your stance in promoting better ties. Uh, understanding, friendship, cooperation with China as a neighbor uh, in Asia, so particularly involving these uh, West Philippine Sea and eastern parts of South China Sea. Has it always been advocacy for you or was there a triggering point that made you say, okay, I need to advocate for this because no one is talking about it? Uh, around 2013, I was a consultant of the government of Cambodia and I went around Southeast Asia and I really saw China help their neighbors because the philosophy of China is that if our neighbors are prosperous, our trading will also improve. And besides, President Xi has his doctrine of the common destiny of mankind, the shared destiny of mankind, progress uh, instead of war. The bottom line here, Adrian, is that there is a shift of prosperity from the West to the East. Our time has come. The West is bankrupt. Progress is, prosperity is here in the East right now. So what do you think uh, is the relevance now of APPCU in achieving more understanding between our neighbors, especially between us you know, and China? It's very, very relevant right now, especially during the presidency of uh, BDM, when he is more friendly to China, to promote more cooperation, understanding, and most of all, my, my, my wish to communicate to the people what really happen what really is the issue uh, because china was being dem demonized by mainstream media as a strategic communication expert nakilala rin siya para sa kanyang contribution in the creation and delivery of communication training tools programs guidelines and evaluations for government agencies and private companies and corporations sir you are a communication expert and an academician personally how will you best describe your work we have to speak the language of the masses. We have to communicate in a way that the masses, as a simple uh, uh, man on the streets, would understand the issue, not too technical. As an academician and a public intellectual, he has not only rendered services as a tri-media consultant, editor, social political analyst with a long list of publications in newspapers, magazines, and scholarly journals. But more importantly, he has been very dynamic with his views, especially where matters of international relations are concerned, such as the issues of the West Philippine Sea. His career and professional life may be described as largely academic in nature, serving as faculty member in various universities, colleges, and institutes in the country to the present day. What should we expect, Prof, in the coming years? Especially now we have a new president who is more friendly in terms of the relationship with China, although we know that he has 
not the, that good relationship, but is open still with uh, the USA. Um, how would you see the significant changes in the relationship of China and the Philippines? Well, I hope the new president will uh, maintain the independent foreign policy of President Duterte. Uh, people accuse me as pro-Chinese, anti-American. No, I'm pro-Filipino, whatever is uh, for the best interest of the country. It so happened that China is taking care of the interests of the Philippines. I see tremendous progress with the presidency of BBM, with the China-Philippine uh, relationship. Because as I said, prosperity is here in Asia right now. Do you agree that the Philippines and China cooperation as an opportunity, no? uh, more than a threat, where, where a lot of people are claiming, no? to the countries or the Philippines economy and security? Can you share with us more about this or your thoughts? China has never been a threat. It was media who made it appear to be a threat. In fact, they have been extending their hands uh, to us. So in terms of defense, in terms of the economy, yeah. We will maintain our independent foreign policy. China is now leading the world's economy, even in science and technology. In fact, Tsinghua University has already overtaken Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Medical Research and Innovation.